another JD in the Sump Sea uh, build video. Um, I'm actually going to say this is the last build video um, for the wall corner sections here. Um, this has been quite a journey filming this and everything else. Um, so today we're going to be doing some texturing and the last little bit of details on the rest of the pieces. Um, right here, I'm getting ready to put the sump down. Um, usually for the sump, I use Mod Podge. Um, I could use Elmer's glue um, with some water, but uh, yeah, so I stole this um, sump idea from uh, Magrathia Builder of Worlds. Um, I would put a link to his YouTube channel, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. Um, at some point I will, but uh, Mr. Eagling has uh, kind of been, along with the guys from Sump City Radio, has kind of been my uh, inspiration on diving into the sump with most of these builds. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, what you do is you get uh, cray paper, you lay down uh, a good amount of Mod Podge. Um, or like I said, you can use Elmer's glue uh, with a little water on it. And basically you, you lay this down and then you go over it again with more Mod Podge. Here I am getting a little better remembering I'm filming. Um, yeah, once again, Thank you so much for everybody who subscribed and is watching. Um, yeah, totally. Just can't say enough. Um, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah, um, I, I'm not really doing this for tutorial builds. Um, you know, I don't want to tell anybody how to do you know anything with their models. I I think all of it's good. Um, you know, as long as you're, you're doing things, that's the biggest, biggest deal. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're getting, I wanted to do this in pieces here. Yeah, usually I just gloop that crap on and then just, you know, do what I'm doing here, you know, all together. But I wanted to make sure we got some film of this. Um. Yeah, the black coloring and all that, that's not going to, none of that's going to matter. You can use any kind of tissue paper you want. Um, yeah, because you're going to, basically, when this dries, all that overhang, I'm just going to cut off you know, with a knife. Um, and then once we prime it up, it won't matter what color it is. So when I get everything down somewhat as flat as we can, and then... We're just going to go over it with Mod Podge again. Um, to get shiny surfaces, um, I'm going to try varnish on this one. The other tiles I've been doing, I just used a uh, uh, Mod Podge makes a dishwasher safe high gloss. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more on the painting of this one. Um, just to, well, because I haven't really spent very much time i was more excited to uh just get something that looked decent um and on these we're gonna do a little bit more painting on it um yeah we'll get to that when we get to that um but yeah basically all you're gonna do is you know what i'm doing right here just over it and then once it dries um you'll have a nice a nice uh, texture um, you know a lot of people do resin pours and things like that and you know I've done things like that before um, not so much on modeling I resin pour oh okay yeah I, I resin pour um, for tabletops and things like that um, actually making furniture so anyways now we're gonna get into the other texture um, this one I did go to Elmer's glue and water um, and then we add some sand to it now I like to at this point make a nice soupy mixture 
And then with all the tiles, we're just gonna brush this on, um, staying on the wall. Um, but for the most part, it's, you know, this is twofold. Um, one, it's giving an awful lot, you know, of, of break open space. You know, it's taking care of, uh, taking care of the look of things. The sand texture isn't altogether that um, uh, heavy on this, but I can ad adjust that, which I'm gonna be doing later on in the video. But the drippiness, um, and you can probably see it all dripping right now. Um, you know, it, this is kind of a mess. But it's, you know, no gloves and stuff, that's okay. Um, this is just white glue and water, it's not gonna kill you. Um, you know, and I'm not drinking it, so. But, you know, this is gonna take about a day to dry. Uh, the later shots in this are um, of this part actually dried. And we're just gonna remember to move the camera. Man, I'm happy about that. And making sure that we get all the styrofoam, because um, I hadn't coated that yet, any of that stuff down there yet. So it's gonna be a seal, and then we're gonna be adding the sand. You know, it especially works on MDF um, and some of the old. Now, have you noticed the glue's seeping down into the sump? That's a good transition. Um, it's certainly not solid, so it doesn't, um, move this up. So now we're gonna do the other side here. Um, this is just another step. Um, I did reinforce all the other glue stuff with, uh, I like using E6000, um, mainly because getting Yoohoo over here in the States is, seems to be an issue. Um, I did try. Because a lot of the, a lot of the British YouTubers that do things like this, they like using the all-purpose YooHoo, um, which I can't even get it, so not gonna worry. But uh, yeah, the E6000 works really well. It's somewhat cheap, um, and you know it just takes a little longer to dry. But in this case, for a double glue joint of things, uh, works out really well. Okay, and we're getting down to the end here, the tub. And yeah, just a light brush. Like I said, we're adding some texture to this stuff. Okay. I'm trying to take some of the drips away. I like having drips, but Sometimes you get too many of it, and it actually looks like you did what I just did, um, which is what I'm looking. What wasn't what I was looking for. So, yeah, here we go. We're gonna get some close-up shots of this. You can see the sand sticking out. Now, one thing to note: when this is done and dried, um, it's really hard to see if you actually did anything because white glue dries clear. Um, it's not until we start priming and highlighting and things that you're really gonna see it. Um, okay, this is the other side. Oh no, this is all of it, yep. So, you know, that was the side we just did. Yeah, I didn't film doing the other side because I thought it might have been a little monotonous. But yeah, this is what this guy looks like. And yeah, none of the pieces are in there. Um, now, if you look a little bit over there, you can see where I actually threw some extra sand down for a little different texture. Okay, so this is the inside of the SCR uh, house. It has a coffee machine and uh, other, other items for it, places to sleep. I've got everything else um, pretty much detailed up. Um, at this point, we're simply putting some texture, same thing I did with the other pieces there. Um, yeah, that front thing is going to be a billboard. 
Um, it says uh, some city radio on it. At least I'm going to try to free him that. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. And basically, you just do all this stuff here. Yeah, I made a mistake. I didn't want to put it on that other side. No one's going to see that. But uh, you're doing this, setting it to the side, letting it dry a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's the, the final approach up into the SCR shack if you're taking that stairwell that I made. Yeah, it really helps on these pipes going down into the sump. Um, the paint job, uh, it's pretty intense doing those things. Yeah, and just, you know, the idea here, yeah, here, I'm dripping some extra sand on top while it's wet. Um, as that dries, it'll, uh, it'll add just one more layer of texture. Yeah, there we go. A little bit extra there. Okay, so here's the SCR shack itself, the radio shack. Um, yeah, so you got chairs for Steve and Chris. And then they got a little work table back there. Just a little drink, a little grog. A couple of other things. You know, I wanted to detail a little bit more, but I ripped half of them out because you couldn't get models in there. Uh, here's with the top on. I added a few other, few other uh, antenna. Yeah, oh, that's bad filming right there. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So here we got the front. We got the wires. So as you can see, the wall pieces have dried, and it's really hard to see all that crap that I put on there. Um, but once we get to painting, it'll come out um, big time. Yeah, I just put this together just to just to get an end shot here. And we'll walk it up. Like I said, you can see the sand. Um, and uh, yeah, we're getting to the end here. This is the final build. Um, I'm not going to film priming. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky to prime all this guy, these guys up together. But uh, we're going to get it. So, and here's an end shot. And thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, we'll see you again.